Hey there, it's time for another update, I guess. I've been messing around with this, um... I've been messing around with this oscilloscope. That's the one I have. It's not a great one, but, uh... The bigger issue is that I don't really know what I'm doing with it. So I've been messing around with that, trying to see what's going on with this board on this AEG... Uh, silent motor, uh, inverter motor, washing machine. Let's strip back the cables on this to try and see if I can get a signal off them. I think that's just 220 volt coming in and I think the yellow cables are the, the sine wave of uh, uh, high frequency electricity driving the motor but I think the red ones do something but I couldn't really figure it out on the screen so if you know what I should be doing I'll post another video about that in the coming days if you know what I should be doing or what I should be looking for let me know. I don't really know how to run these but I can often get a sine wave up on the screen if there's one there to be had. As updates go, I've been working on a workbench, making a workbench that's going to have a brick top. I've got some fire bricks in here for welding on. That's good fun. I might post a show and tell of that. I'm not going to post a making video probably. Or I'm going to put some photos up or something. It's uh, it's good fun that. I like, I like making stuff out of wood. I've been using my old mortiser. It's hidden in there. Almost, almost see it behind all these things. There's the mortise chisel. It's a good old solid one that, but it quite literally fell off the back of my van and it bent. You can see that's all bent ways there. Uh, that that side to side wheel, but it works perfectly as a machine. An old clunky old Chinese motor up on it and it goes grand. So I did that to cut the mortises and cut the tenons on the table saw there, and everything was tickety boo. Turned out all right. Got a big vice fitted to it. It'll be covered in bricks and for f suitable for gas welding. Up on top, I've got another vacuum cleaner that I found. It's a 22 volt Air Ram G Tech vacuum cleaner. I've given it a bit of a wipe. I've given the filters a blowout with the airline, and I've given the trays a bit of a wash. So I'm waiting for the trays to dry, and then I'll put it back together. So this video is kind of the middle of that video. Whenever that comes up, it's a G Tech Air Ram. I found the machine with a battery, and then. A mate of mine had some other batteries he told me about and I told him I found this and he said oh yeah no bothers uh I'll give you two more batteries so he did and I, I think I'll use this in the house because I quite like these carpet sweepers we didn't grow up with carpet sweepers in our house we grew up with the little vacuum cleaners that have like the lance on them uh if you want to call it a lance this kind of thing you know the equivalent of a Henry but whatever it was the, the Electrolux Mondo was the one I used all as a teenager they they're not great at cleaning carpets whereas this is this carpet's come up really well like it started like that and just using it with blocked filters it came up like i've got more dirt falling on it again but it's come up like white and lifted the pile and everything so i'm really impressed with that you know for a battery machine that's it's it was meant to be a competitor of dyson at the time but i've never heard of them really um it is what it is <laughs> over here that's the motor from the other AEG that I scrapped out recently. Um, I'm going to do some experiments with that. I've bought a VFD online and that will come in the post next week. And when the VFD gets here, I'm going to put, uh, what is it, 195 volt. What does it say? It's another sticker on it somewhere. There's another sticker on it somewhere. Three phase, 195 volt, 300 hertz. Let's see what I can get out of it and put the tackle on it and stuff like that and give it a bit of a spin. See what it does and see if I'll be able to get it running. Not sure what plan I'm doing with that other than playing with the VFD. I got a VFD online for 50 quid on eBay. You have them on eBay and on Amazon and that's, you know, it's a good price, but it's a Chinese thing that may be rubbish and maybe, you know, overrated for what it actually is. They might say it's one thing and I, I don't know. We'll have a look at it when it comes and try and program it to give us 300 hertz and hopefully that'll that'll be a bit of fun to play with keep me busy anyways things are pretty boring at the moment in the background is my lathe underneath all the welding equipment and everything underneath those blankets and i've made a video of it i'll put a link up in the corner now or a card to show you uh where it is i've got a treadmill motor in this box and i want to try and get that treadmill motor going on the lathe these are all projects that have been on the long finger, but I'm finally getting around to them. So I'm getting around to them little by little, and, you know, that lathe, it'd be good for projects. <laughs> I haven't really got anything in mind that I need to make or want to do, but I would like to get it going off a motor. It was running off an old 1450 RPM Hoover motor running off a line shaft, and I've, that's that you'll see that in the other video, but it's no good. Belts keep slipping and stuff like that, flat belt drive. So this one 
it'll have a poly V belt going onto a flat belt and I don't know if it'll work but we'll see if I can rig something up for it. This one, I posted a video recently that I'd made ages ago of this TDA 1085C motor speed controller. Or it's based on the TDA 1085C, that little chip in the middle there. I want to do some more experiments with that with the oscilloscope so I can see what sort of signal it's putting out. But uh, for now, it's just been sat in here probably for some... Oop. It's been sat in here for about six months and I haven't done anything with it. Dual toaster, I want to do a tear down of that one getting around to it. Any other videos are probably up already or in the playlist. I don't think there's any hidden videos in the Boots Own channel. I've got a little Variac there that I was experimenting with and it's got a really weird arrangement where it puts out 20 up to 22 volts. So I'll post a video of that when I get around to making a show and tell of it. I'm not really going to do anything much with it other than run it through the uh, multimeter to see what it's doing. There's the uh, 12 volt battery tester that I've never got around to putting in a box but someday I will and you know there's a few projects like that that are on the go looking forward to getting them done I've got outside it's getting dark out but let's go outside and have a look I was given a mate of mine gave me this Indesit integrated washing machine it's a IWME 126 it works but it's grubby it's pretty it's got a bit of mould in the door, you can just see the shadow of it there. Let's give it a spin. It's got, it's got, the, it's got the, um, some of the feet and the hose in it, but I think the bearings are okay. It's got all its accessories for an integrated appliance. I've made a filter video of that already, and I'll put it up soon. I think I'm just going to throw a brick in it straight away. I don't know what to do with it really. I could, I'll probably do a show and tell of it, take it, up, well, to take it apart, have a look inside it and see what's going on there. but. You know it's it is what it is and so i'll put up that video on the wash smash channel if you don't know about that already um just search for wash smash and uh it'll have the same type of thumbnail as a boots owen i've been going through all of my archives i think i've got like between 60 and 70 smash videos no that's not right i've got between 60 and 70 washing machines that i've smashed and i've been putting them together one by one into wash smash videos and then the plan is to start making some pretty good compilations once I've gone through all the footage so it's just a kind of a bit of a toy for me to play with at the moment the wash smash channel but on the other hand if it's, it's it's an interesting experiment with YouTube as well because YouTube won't monetize a video until or won't monetize the channel until you've got a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours and I'm about a quarter of the way there on that channel but the issue with that is that it's very difficult to get people to watch videos because YouTube won't recommend them unless they've got ads on them and you can't get ads on them until you've got enough views. So you're in this kind of limbo. It's quite an interesting experiment for YouTube really because YouTube won't recommend them. It won't recommend the videos that don't have adverts on them because it won't make any money. So you have to find a way of driving traffic to a channel. You know, either it, by it being good and, you know, you put it up on Instagram or something like that. Or you've got a channel like the Boots Own channel and you can put your Smash videos up over there and people will watch them. But what happens is people watch them and then forget about it and YouTube won't recommend them again, even if you've subscribed. So unless you had something really niche that was a really cool video, I guess, that YouTube wanted you to see or wanted other people to see. But I don't, I don't understand how it works and... I guess I never will, it's part of this conceptual YouTube algorithm, but uh, if we can get a thousand people to subscribe to it, then we could see if it really starts to get more views. Like I think about 60 to 70 percent, something like that, or, or 60 to 80 percent of the traffic is coming from me, from Boots Owen and from people who are interested in the Boots Owen channel and, and those kinds of videos going across to it, whereas about 20% or the remainder anyways are coming from YouTube so it's only it's given some people views but you know not many and, and that's that's fair enough I guess it'll just be it's just a, it's just an experiment and it's a bit of a hobby for me to go through the old videos and put them up and try and make them a little bit better and then ultimately what I want to do is uh, if you go back through my videos on the Boots Own channel there's a video called 20 washing machines destroyed I think I think that's what it's called and it's got lots of people it's got lots of views, but really it's just a rehash. And it's cool because it's a longer video and you can sit down. You can kind of get a digest of everything. But I made that a few years ago. And since then I've smashed maybe another 
40 something washing machines. So we'll see what happens. I might get to that intercept tomorrow and if I do smash that what I'll do is I'll put up a long version on this channel with the behind the scenes stuff and I'll just put up a shorter version on the other channel first to try and get people across to that channel to see to see what's going on over there. Don't know what else to tell you in the garage at the moment. It's just uh, just trying to tidy it up. I want to put the table saw over there and put a workbench in the middle. This workbench needs new legs. The ones I put on were only temporary. They're not very strong. So yeah, if you could bear all that rambling about YouTube. Uh, I put up a video today of that Alcoza blower. I'm thinking about making a furnace, not furnace, a uh, breathing hearth. Yeah, anything you want to see videos about, let me know. I'll think about making them. As it is for now, thanks for watching. Questions or comments, you know where to put them. See you later.